guys! I'm going to start out with a basic wavy dark brown wig base. I'm pinning it to the mannequin head so it doesn't slide around. After that, I'm going to start trimming off any excess hair. You don't have to be too careful when cutting the hair because you're just going to glue or sew some more on later. I'm cutting it to about shoulder length and thinning it out. Now with various shades of loose hair, I'm pouring some glue into one bowl and water into another bowl. Then with a chunk of the loose hair, I'm going to get some glue on my hands and water it down by dipping my fingers in the water. I'm mixing the glue throughout the ball of hair as much as possible to make sure it gets sticky so it's easier to style. Then while holding down one end of the hair, I'm going to start twisting it all the way to the end and add more glue as I see fit. I'm twisting and rolling the hair into my desired shape. Then with a the hairdryer, I'm heating up the synthetic fibers and drying the glue. The more glue you add, the harder the hair will be when it dries, so you should definitely test it out first. Also, this is just a quick and easy way I make the hair for my pirate costume wig. If you are looking to make actual proper dreadlocks, I would search other videos on YouTube for that. Here you can kind of see how the heat from the blow dryer shrivels the synthetic hairs. Also, in my Jack's Room makeup tutorial, I mentioned how I made the wig with my own real hair. What I meant by that was, I just used some hair trimmings and twist the hair together. You can basically do it the same way you do with fake hair. After you're happy with what you've made, you can get different shades of black and brown acrylic craft paint and start coloring the hair as you see fit to get a more realistic look. I personally paint almost every one of my wigs with acrylic craft paint because it helps get rid of the synthetic shine as well as add different tones. You can also blend colors from black to blonde in a more natural way, as well as cover up any glue and other imperfections. Now that I'm done coloring the hair, I'm ready to attach it to the wig. I also made an assortment of sizes and added trinkets and beads to some of them. With my hot glue gun, I'm going to put a generous amount of glue on one end of the hair and place it in the hairs at the base of the wig. You can repeat as you see fit. It really helps to look at reference images while making the wig. Also, keep in mind his wig style changes throughout the films, although mine is just kind of a mix of the different styles. Can we just appreciate how adorable my kitten Kara is in the background? Now I'm just gluing on some loose hair to add different textures and filling gaps. After you're happy with how it looks and done gluing on the hair, you're almost done with the wig. To make sure I place the accessories correctly on the wig, I'm going to try it on. My hair is braided and I'm putting on a wig cap so I can try on the wig and make sure everything looks right. I'm sectioning and pinning back the hair for the bandana as well as making the ponytail that's at the top right of his head.
I got the bandana from eBay and it's really great, but I like to make it look a little more dirty. You can do this by getting a bucket, then adding the desired colors of paint and water them down so you can soak the bandana. I would do a small test on the corner to make sure it will turn the desired color when dry. Once it's dry, you just fold it in the right size and tie it down in the back of your head. Then for the ponytail, he has a bone in it, but I'm just using a wooden stick attached to some string and some hair. I'm also gluing in some of my own loose wavy hair. For the beads, I went to local craft stores and Walmart to try to find the right ones. Anything I couldn't find, I sculpted out of polymer clay and painted them the desired colors. Then, you can pin them in place and secure them once you take off the wig. Be sure to reference photos of Jack Sparrow while adding the accessories. After you're done with the placement of everything, you can secure it down with glue or by hand sewing. Once everything is secure, you're done! I hope you found this tutorial helpful and have fun dressing up as Captain Jack! Thank you so much for all the requests to make this wig tutorial. I was in need of a new wig anyway.